government's well, COVID uh, mistakes uh, have killed many thousands is one headline. Elderly were just an afterthought is another headline. And this is from a report by some of your colleagues, your own MPs. So you're able to apologise for that, aren't you? No, I think we followed the scientific advice. Obviously, if no, no, that wasn't respectful, sir. To, that wasn't the question, we, Minister. Are you able well, to apologise? Well, we need to look at the report. As I say, it's only just come out. We need to ensure that where there are lessons uh, to learn. I, you know, I don't for a minute. Um, Might I to lightly ask you the, not the, to say the, lessons the... to be learned again? That's three times we've heard lessons will be learned. I'm just wondering why you find it unable to apologise. Because we followed the scientific advice we had at the time Which and the might knowledge flawed, we had at that point. The knowledge we had at that point was very different. I appreciate no one did it deliberately. You all worked damn hard. It would appear in many instances the advice that was flawed. I'm just asking on a human nature. Surely you apologise to my listeners who lost relatives. Well, I recognise it's devastating and my heart goes out to, to any family, any of your listeners where Minister, uh, they lost so a Minister, what's so hard about the word sorry? Because we followed the scientific advice that we had at the time, Nick, and I find uh, we move. We'll move on in a minute. I mean, there's no that. point going on and on with this, Mr. Barclay. But on a human level, as a cabinet, as minister for the cabinet office, you can't apologise to people who lost loved ones. Well, I'm saying if we follow no, the scientific advice and the knowledge we had at the time, Nick, that was a logical thing to do. But what we're committed to doing for those families is having an inquiry, ensuring that we we address any uh, issues from that time. It's just but we followed nature, the knowledge Mr. that we had at that time.